under the market, uh, in this market, under Emerald Group Investments Partnership, which commenced in May of this year. Expansion plans under Emerald Group include an increased distribution network, both in standalone stores, shop in shops, uh, wholesale, and business to business fields. We've also confirmed a new uh, flagship store in Australia. We've got a little sneak peek coming up in a moment. The flagship store will be located in Russell Street in Melbourne and will be due to open in March of next year. And to emphasise the importance that Emerald have put on this market in Australia, it will actually be one of the largest stores in the world for Bang Olufsen. But let's take a moment to consider this anniversary milestone. 90 years of production in what you'll all know is a very fiercely competitive marketplace. Van Ollison celebrates 90 years of staying true to the very original values in design, craftsmanship, quality, and indeed performance that two young, talented, and perhaps in retrospect, very visionary Danish engineers created. Van Olsen has also put considerable emphasis on innovation. Today, that spirit pervades throughout the whole organisation on a global scale. The 90th anniversary limited edition Love Affair <coughs> collection pays homage to these principles. this afternoon for you to, to see. Passion, pride, persistence, they're values that are really deep rooted within the culture in Bang Olsen. It's led to a rich history of design icons, 11 of which are in the Museum of Modern Art in New York as part of their permanent collection. Spectacular designs are enhanced by sophisticated technologies and that underpins performance. I'd like to take a moment to briefly detail the last time technology really took our loudspeaker offering to a new high. And when we launched the BLAB 5, an icon, both in terms of many groundbreaking technologies we applied, but also in its design. The goal was to offer customers exceptional sound and greater freedom living with music. And everyone could tell the difference, not just the experts. With BLF 5, we solved problems that, up, that had occupied acoustic engineers for a long time. The distinctly pure sound from this top-line loudspeaker was made possible by the use of acoustic lens technology, adaptive bass, and other sophisticated solutions that were inside. Most of these solutions were then added to the loudspeakers that we've produced since, the BLF 3, the BLF 12, 20s, 
in the 18th that you see as part of the Love Affair collection too. So now it's time to continue with this vision of sound, we could say. And as you all know, once in a while, you have to test yourself and push yourself and challenge yourself. You need to push the boundaries of what's possible. Test your knowledge and venture into the unknown. It's not just innovation, it's actually pioneering. And three years ago, to commemorate this day, we challenged our engineers to come up with something groundbreaking. And they surely took up the challenge. And today, we're pleased that you'll see and hear for yourself the next step in the Van Olsen journey in the pursuit of the perfect loudspeaker, both to listen to, to live with, and to last another lifetime. Or perhaps we could just start with the next 90 years. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome Mr. Paul Vink, Global Trainer and Technical, China, technical Trainer, excuse me, from Van Olsen, Denmark, to reveal for the very first time in Australia, the BLAB 90. Thank you very much, Julian. Uh, before in going in details around uh, this new loudspeaker, I would suggest that it is a good idea to share some impressions that we have filmed for you during production of the Bell of 90. <laughs>
we'll play for you uh, No Sanctuary here from Chris Jones. Especially from the walls. 
and it will change what you hear from the loudspeaker. This is a clever guy. It has a so-called automatic room compensation built in, so it measures the room and the position where it stands, and it compensates for all the stuff that is added to the music from the room acoustics. And by that you get exactly the sound as the composer wanted you to experience the sound. Automatic, uh, ad adaptive room compensation. Well, that's not enough. We can do more than that. You may have a favorite position where you want to listen to the music with your friends and family. And you may have something where you would like to take your breakfast. Okay, well, we can ask the speakers to change the direction of the sound energy towards your breakfast table or towards where you would like to listen with friends and family. So we can also change the beam direction. And these three new technologies are uh, developed at Bang Olufsen, developed by Bang Olufsen, and that will give you an experience like nowhere else. And to make it easy, as everybody expects from Bang Olufsen, it is a one-touch control on an app where you can select where you want to have the maximum of joy and pleasure from your music. So let's try that, okay? I would like to make it a bit challenging for you this afternoon, so this is a sweet spot, and I would like everybody to have a chance to sit here. So why don't we start with you, and afterwards the lady next to you, then I, then I would like to invite you, and you, and you, and you, and everybody, for around 40 seconds, if you allow me, I will just give you a sign, your 40 seconds are open now, the next one wants to sit here as well, okay? And we will play the CD completely, so there are different tracks of music on there. And should we have some time left at the end, then if one of you says, oh, I would like to listen to track number four, is it possible? Yes, okay, come here and we'll play track number four for you. Alright? So that you get a complete, hopefully convincing impression of what is coming to the market with Taylor 90. Alright? Are you ready? Okay, let's go. With Mary and I on nine months gone And you know we're talking about a hell of a walk And they had no place to stay They tried the inns and the hotels A message was plain as day You get no refuge, no respite And no sanctuary here No refuge, no respite And no sanctuary here And a baby boy they named Miguel On the other side of the line it's heaven On this side it's a living hell So you do what it takes, pick up stakes And try to escape the drought But when you get to the boat of the INS I got the welcome wagon now You get no refuge, no respite And no sanctuary here No refuge, no respite and no sanctuary here And no more snubbing in between 
Religion they preach about loving your brother, but they run out of coal and green. Now there's a lot of folks looking over the edge of that faith we've piled so high. When they all decide to come over the board, time to kiss it all goodbye. There'll be no refuge, no respite, and no sanctuary here. No refuge, and no respite, and no sanctuary here. No sanctuary here, no refuge, no respite, and no sanctuary here.
Everybody has had this experience. No, I'll have a go. <laughs> okay, let's go next step. Yes. Now, one of the first things that uh, will draw, have drawn your attention is that we have loudspeakers all around. So we use, uh, in this area, around 18 speakers, uh, minus four, 14 loudspeakers, to radiate sound in a 360 degrees angle. And that is mainly because we want to be able to eliminate the acoustics that are being produced by the wall, so reflections, because they deteriorate the depth and the perspective you have in the music. And that's a problem in acoustics that nobody has really solved until today. So it took somebody with the invention of acoustic room compensation uh, to compensate for the unwanted added signals to your sound. Normally, only a few percentage of the sound comes to your ears directly from the speaker. Most of it comes from the walls. So not so with bail and writing. <coughs> we can eliminate that. But once we have set the number of 14, we have 14 drivers, 7 mid-range speakers and 7 tweeters. Each are powered by a 300 watt ice power amplifier. It's a 14 channel amplifier of the latest technology that was specially developed for this Bell of 90. But that's not enough, we still have 4 others. So we use 3 movers and 1 bass unit, each powered with, four th with uh, four, uh, 1000 watt amplifier. Now if you make a small calculation, we have 8,200 watts available uh, for the music in each loudspeaker. So one for the left and one for the right, which is 16,400. Yeah, we need a 10 amp uh, also for that. And um, it is a double DSP, which means that we can use a digital sound processor uh, for the sound from the loudspeakers, but also to take care of the reflections in the room and to be able to change the beam direction because we have drivers on this side, so we can pull, we can bring the energy out to the left, to the right, or to the rear. So that explains what we, how we can make a narrow mode, or a wide mode, or a long mode. By the way, one thing you would see in the movie uh, afterwards, because we play it again, is this aluminium profile. It is three meters long, it is seamless, it was once one piece of aluminium, and we had extracted it in a hexagon, and then we bring it into a sine wave shape like this and then it's being polished um, to finish up the design with the material which is so typical for Wagner Motion. And when we talk about aluminum, what about this? We've asked the, the, the an aluminum company in Jutland in Denmark, they normally make motorbooks for vans and for buses to make a cabinet for the Wagner Motion speaker. And they can, they do, yes. And when they have made one chassis for us, one speaker cabinet that weighs 350 <coughs> kilos. Then they put them on a truck and they said, oh, well, this truck is too small, so we better buy a new one, and they did. Uh, and then they bring the 
raw products from Ernie to Stor, which is about 50 kilometers. And then we start working on it. Cut the holes and phrase everything. Where, what we do not need is aluminum. When we're ready, we still have a 65 kilogram loudspeaker cabinet. And then we can put all the PCBs in, and the transformers in, and the speaker drivers in, and then we end up with a weight of 137 kilos. So this one, yes, this one weighs 137 kilograms. But we wanted, as I said earlier, it's a loudspeaker for the private use at home. So we also have given attention to, yeah, but then it should have a domestic element. If you look at the base of the speaker, we've applied wooden panels from a company that makes our wooden products for ages and centuries, not for nearly a century now. Um, and you see how beautiful that matches to the wooden floor that we have here in this beautiful room, by the way. And that gives some domesticity to the loudspeaker. A few words to the designers. It's a, it's a German design office in Cologne. Uh, Andre Pullen and Thorsten uh, Frankenpol. The, it's not their first technology awesome product, they have also made an audio system for us. And they were heavily challenged, especially by how to cover this shape. And it nearly killed the, pro the project, because it was so difficult. Because we don't want any structure in front of the loudspeakers that could have any influence on the acoustics. And it was until he saw a bin in Denmark that gave him the idea of how you can make a hood like this. And in fact, you see here, there's no material that covers the loudspeakers. And if you watch it closely, it looks like a sail. And that is an inspiration that came from the Munich Olympic Stadium, which was designed by a German architect, Frei Otto. And if you, if you have a piece of material and you have two high hinges and two low ones, then you, then you can make a, a, a shape and that it looks like a sail. And by that we can cover the speaker units without having any material in front of them. And by the way, BMW tried it once with a car, they produced the Gina. The, it was only a frame, but then it was covered with a fabric. And these tricks, how you can do it, are implemented in the Dale of 19. And I think I could go on for ages and forever, but time is a limited resource. So I would be pleased to ask and to answer all your questions that you may come up uh, with afterwards. But for now, I would like to hand over back to Julian. Thank you so much. Thanks, Paul. They just love it when you do it without scripts, and that's all knowledge in his head, and it's fantastic. So look, I'd like to thank you all for taking the time out of your days and your busy schedules to come to, to join us today. I'd like to thank Paul, I'd like to thank the team from Van Olsen that have put this together, Jen, Hannah, and the rest of the crew. And um, the time for this afternoon, you don't have to rush off, please stay, come and have a look, we can answer some more questions. Um, and maybe you can we'll fire up the, uh, the, the loudspeakers again if you want to have another listen. So thanks once again to everybody. We'll speak soon.